We will have all the ingredients listed below in the description. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 350. Be sure to practice healthy habits with your toddler, such as washing hands before and after touching food. Okay, so we are getting ready to make some Amish sweet bread. The big thing with bread is that you do not want to, yep, you can paint those too. Okay. You don't want to microwave your water. You want it lukewarm, about 110 degrees. Um, if you have a thermometer, like a candy thermometer, you can use that. Other than that, basically you don't want it hot. You want it just lukewarm. Um, then I take some oil, or you can use cooking spray. And you can either paint it on like this, which the kids love, or you can take cooking spray and just spray these down because this will be where your, your bread dough goes into and you don't want it to stick, huh? Yeah. No, I... we don't want it to stick, huh? Yeah. yeah. We are using a Back to the Basics bread maker. It's a replica of a 100-year-old bread machine before they had electricity. So basically you just spray your grease in here and then you put in your ingredients and when you turn or have a child turn, which is perfect for children, everything will form into a ball and then you just dump it into a greased silver bowl. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So here we've already warmed up our water in a tea kettle, not in the microwave because that will ruin, it doesn't rise as well when you do it in the microwave for some reason. Hey, MJ. All in. All right. And then you want to add your yeast. And here we have one and a half tablespoons of active dry yeast. Here we have two thirds cup of sugar. Once again, everything you can possibly do, whether it be greasing this bowl or pre-measuring everything is very important when you have a little one. So we gotta turn it. Can you turn? Now with the warm water, if it's too hot, the yeast won't rise. If it's too cold, the yeast won't rise. You want it about 110 degrees. And you mix it in there, and then you want it to sit for like a minute or two, and then it'll get kind of bubbly and frothy. And you'll tell a difference. Another thing I'll sometimes do is take a whisk and whisk it a little bit to help it blend and get it activated. And we're just whisking it around that way, mixing the sugar. The sugar helps the yeast to to rise, it kind of feeds on it. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So it's a fourth of a cup of oil. Any oil works. I use olive oil. We have our salt, one and a half teaspoons of salt. You can use less if you want. If you're if you can't have salt in your diet, you can definitely cut that back. Of course, one and a half makes it pretty good. So and now you can kind of see. Should we tip it so they can see? Now you can see it's well mixed and it's no longer granules, it's dissolved. So now we can add our flour. So we're gonna add a little bit of flour. Okay, that's good. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> good job. Okay, turn it, stir it. And at this point, if it's easier, you can even set it down lower for the child. I've even set it down on the the living room floor, the kitchen floor, and let all the kids take turns turning it. They can't make any mess, nothing spills out, so this is really nice. A little bit more flour. Good job. Okay, and we're adding the rest of the flour. In some spots here, it's a little sticky and wet looking, so you wanna get rid of that and you want it to form into a ball. So we're gonna keep letting her add a little bit of flour at a time into here. And I just pour a little into a cup, my half cup is here, so. If you give her the whole half cup, it'll be everywhere. Yep. <laughs> okay, there we go. Grandma got it. Okay. Good job. Okay. And you can touch. That's fine. Whoa, look at that. And it comes right off the thing. Whoa. Oh, is it gooey? Just gonna get it all tipped into here. And there 
there's your dough. A little bit on the bottom stuck. The kids really enjoy Whoa. playing with it so much. As you can see. <laughs> okay, let's, shall we paint it? Yep. Paint it, okay. So, still slightly sticky. We are going to put some oil on it. You want to paint it a little bit? Okay. Yay. So, we have a grease bowl, and we also painted a little bit of the dough, so it's all soft and gooey, huh? Ow! It's okay if it sticks a little bit, you just Ow. don't want it super sticky. Ow! Ow! It doesn't hurt. There. Now we push it in the dish. Okay, you don't have to push real hard. It, it can rise. It's okay. Alright. So you want to Paint it with the brush of oil. That way it keeps the dough all soft and moist. Okay, there you go. Paint some more. Get all over, huh? Make sure the edges of the dish are still all nice and oily. And roll it into balls. Oh. Because <laughs> we're going to make some rolls. So we're just taking a pinch. And then roll, roll it with little ones. You don't have to be real picky. Just let them do what they want, huh? You can do yours to show them how. See how grandma's doing it? <laughs> and if they do it that way, great. If not, that's fine too. Good job. Look at you go. And put it in the dish. Dish? Yep. Good job. And roll and roll and roll. And put it in the dish. I'm going to do one more too. Yeah, All right. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Okay. Just Start your timer for 30 minutes.